All right, so this is how to add special characters, click and paste extension to add accents in Spanish, French, or German. You can also use it for Italian, Portuguese, or other languages. Um, so the first thing you want to do is go to the to the web store, to the Chrome Google App Store. Um, so the Chrome Web Store to add an extension. Okay, so you're going to go to that website. This is not an active link because it's a video, so you need to type it in for yourself. Just type in Chrome Web Store and you should get to that. On the left hand side is a box where you're going to type in your search. You need to make sure you search the extension by typing in the search box exactly the following things. Special characters, dash, click and paste. There's a bunch of applications that have the same name or a similar name, so make sure you get the correct one. Okay, so it's special characters, dash, click and paste. Enter that on the search on the left, and once you search it, this is what should come up. So double, double check, triple check that it's the correct extension, because there's a lot of them that do the same thing, that have a similar name. So once again, it's called special characters, click and paste. It looks like the letter A with an accent going up on it. So you want to add that to Chrome. Okay, so you're going to click on add to Chrome, and it's going to do that. So again, double check that you have the correct extension. It should look like this. Okay, you want to confirm that you want to add it to Chrome. So once you clicked on Add to Chrome, this dialog box came up. You want to click on Add Extension. Okay, so you're going to confirm that you're adding that extension. Once you do that right away, success, the special characters click and paste has been added to Chrome. Okay, it will show a dialog box to confirm that it's been added. You can actually see the little icon right here. Okay, so now if you're like me, you probably have a bunch of different applications uh, that are populating your taskbar on top, but you need to have it pinned because this will allow you to click on it rapidly to get the characters you need as you type later on. So click on the little jigsaw puzzle. Okay, so on your taskbar on the top, on the top right, find the little jigsaw puzzle piece. Once you click on that, you're going to get a dialog box that will open with all your extensions. Okay, if you're like me, you have a bunch of them. Some of them are pinned to your taskbar, some of them are not. That's why it's showing you the little blue pins are the ones that are already pinned up here. The gray and white ones are the ones that are not. So scroll down to find the one for special characters, click and paste. It looks like the letter A with that accent going up. So scroll until you find it. Once you locate it, okay, you can do a couple of things. So you can manage your extension and this will work for all your extensions, by the way. Uh, if you wanna do things with your extensions, you can click on the little three dots and that dialog box will open that gives you options you can actually remove it if you ever need to remove any of your extensions this is where you'd go those three dots on the gray part notice there that you could uh, simply click on pin okay and that will do the job and pin it to the taskbar on top but the fastest way if you have to go back and forth and there's some extensions you use during the day and you want you don't want them there all the time you want to go back and forth simply open that little puzzle jigsaw puzzle when this come up you see that the pins that are in white are the ones that are they're available, they're there for you to use, but they're not pinned to your taskbar for a shortcut. So you want to create that shortcut by pinning the extension to your taskbar, click on the pin until it turns blue. Once it turns blue you, and it's going to show up here on top, you're going to see it, that means that it is added. So that's what you want because when you type, you're going to go back and forth clicking on that icon. So it shows in your taskbar, th that's the letter A with an accent. Remember what that icon looks like because you're going to be looking for it later as you type. So as you type, when you need a special character, click on the extension icon on your toolbar, on your taskbar on top, on the top right. Okay, so you notice it right here. So when you click on it, a dialog box will open. Okay, so this is the dialog box that opens when you click on this icon right here. So you want to go and look for the accent you need. So say you were typing something, you need an accent, you, you click on the icon, this opens up, select the letter you need. So I want that C with a CD for the word Francais. 
Okay, so I'm going to click on it. As you do that, when you click on it, your computer automatically copied that accent. Okay, it doesn't say anything, it doesn't show anything, but it, in the background, it copied that accent. So you go back to your text. So now when you go back with the cursor in your text, you may think that nothing happened at all. You're back to your normal screen where you were before, but your computer actually copied your letter or your accent. So all you want to do is paste it. Okay, so don't think that nothing happened. It's copied right there in memory. So you just paste it by simply placing the cursor where you want that letter or that accent. And you're going to hit CTRL at the same time as the letter V on your keyboard. Or if you like to paste stuff by uh, hitting right click on your mouse, uh, if you use a mouse or on your pad, if you use a pad, that's fine, whichever way. Whatever you normally do to paste something on your screen, that's what you want to do. I like the CTRLV because I'm typing, and, and it's, uh, but that's just me. There's different options. Okay, so the characters was now added to your text. And the beauty of this application and this extension, which a lot of extensions don't do that, is the exact same size and the exact same font that you were using. Okay, there's other applications that will add that letter, but then it's like in a tiny other different font, and then it's not the same color, it's not the same font. This one will put it the same way that you were already typing, which is awesome. Okay, so you can adapt this to your language. For instance, uh, say you want to type that. Uh, inverted uh, question mark, you can click on that and just add it in your Spanish text. Say you wanted that uh, N with a tilde, that Ñ, you add that and hablas español. If you wanted a U with a umlaut, you can select that. If you wanted an S uh, for German, you can add that uh, as well. Okay, uh, so you can adapt with your language. When you click on the character you need in the dialog box, it copies the accent in the background. Even though nothing shows, it looks like nothing happened. Remember, it does not appear in your text until you paste it. That's very important to remember. So you don't think that, well, it's not working. No, it is working, but you need to remember to paste it as you type. Okay, so let's explore some options from the extension dialog box. When I click on there, I have um, the option to get capital letters. Okay, so I if I press shift on the keyboard, I will get capital letters. Um, I, it's not showing here on my screen like that because I was preparing that presentation, but uh, just press shift on the keyboard to get capital letters. You can change the language by clicking at the bottom right here. I like the Roman option because I switch back and forth between several languages, but if you're partial to one language, just select that. So you click on there and it'll give you that option, say for Francais um, or Spanish or for German, or there's Portuguese, Italian, other things. Just notice that when you select a particular language, the extension icon in your toolbar might change. If you select French, that little A with an accent now became an E with an accent. If you select Spanish, that it's an N with a tilde. If you spell, uh, select a German, it's going to be a U umlaut. Okay, so it's just a detail, but so you, it doesn't throw you off later on. So. The convenience of that is say you do German, you don't want all the accents, you just want the German accents. It makes the dialog box, you know, smaller with only the accents you need. So that's a good option. Um, I like the Roman settings because I use that quite a bit. But also if you do that, you have the option, if you are like me and you switch back and forth between languages, but right now you're typing in Spanish or in French or whatever, you have the option on top for the recent accents. So say I used a bunch of French accents for a while, they'll show up here on top as recent. So I don't have to look at the whole thing to locate the accent I need. I can just look right here on top. Okay, so uh, simply paste it again as you type. So one thing you might want to remember is whatever last accent you copied, if you didn't copy anything else uh, while doing stuff, and you didn't copy a link or copy a picture, uh, that accent is still in the background, uh, the computer remembers it, you can just simply paste it. Okay, so I have this sentence, l'été je n'ai pas école. I needed three accent aigu. All I did was click CTRL V three times. Uh, I didn't have to go back to the dialog box each time because the computer was remembering that last accent that I typed. So that was pretty convenient. 
Um, the best part is that it's not limited to one platform. You can use it for documents, slides, searches, emails, etc. Which is one big plus. I've explored a lot of options on those uh, accents extensions, and some of them work for slides or documents, but you can't use them in emails or you can't use them in a search uh, engine. Uh, While well, this one works for everything, and it's fantastic. So let's demonstrate that really quick. So if I'm going back, so this is a slideshow. This is a, a PowerPoint, a, a Google slideshow. Okay, so uh, I wanted to, uh, let me go back. Uh, say I wanted to click uh, that I speak Spanish or you speak Spanish, hablas español. And then I'm typing right there, right? I go in my icon. I select my accent that I wanted, the N tilde, CTRLV, and there it goes. Okay, say I wanted to make that a question and I wanted my inverted question mark. I go back in there, select my inverted question mark and CTRLV, and there it comes. Okay, so that's for slides. So say, for instance, I am writing an email that's the beauty of it. You're going to love it. So I want to say, je parle français, I speak French. Notice that it's misspelled. So I go in there. I want my CCD. Sorry, it's because I had several windows open. So I click my CCD. I have it. Let me go back to my email. Uh, if I had only my email open, this wouldn't happen. But it's just because I had several windows. CTRLV, je parle français. Okay, and there it is. And my computer doesn't like it because it thinks I should spell in English. So I close that email. Okay, say I uh, go and do a search on Google. Okay, I want to look for the word for greetings, grüße. Uh, that's also something I put. So say I want my um, uh, U umlaut, I go in there. Here's my U, CTRLV, and look at that. And I could type that and I did my search. I'm a teacher so I use a lot of accents when I do, this is a, a reference for uh, Google Classroom. So I want to share something with my class but I want to tell them to write in French. Okay, s'il vous plaît. I need a, the letter I with an accent circonflex. Let's go and look for it. There it is. Okay, I go back in my text, CTRLV. S'il vous plaît, écrivez en français. Okay, and here I go with, I need the letter E, CTRLV. S'il vous plaît, écrivez un paragraphe, et voilà. Okay, so this is the beauty of that application. Um, I hope that it helped a little bit. So once again, you go to the Google, um, to the App Store for Google Chrome. You search for special characters, click and paste, add the extension to Chrome, pin it to your toolbar. As you type, if you need a special character, click on the extension icon in your toolbar, in your taskbar, click on the character or accent you need, and then go back to your text and hold the keyboard keys, CTRL plus the letter V, or you can right click or select paste with your mouse or your right click on your pad and there you go okay so hopefully that helps uh, i know this extension has been a lifesaver for me